I said in a video that I made before this one that um, I think that narcissists and racists are pretty much the same people. Now that being said, when we want to talk about narcissism, there are people who seem to think that you should not try to get back at the narcissist or expose the narcissist. Or take any kind of revenge upon the narcissist. I understand why they say that. Because they feel like if you do that, you're no better than a narcissist. So you should never try to do battle with a narcissist. What you should do is just escape. That's the best thing for you to do. And I agree with that. But at the same time, I think you're being derelict of duty. And guess what? I'm guilty of both in my life. So um, this, shingle, this finger waving is not just in anybody else. It's at me too, because I've done both. So let me say this. I will concede one thing. The best thing for yourself, if we're talking about self-defense, a sub-theme of this channel, since this channel has to deal with martial arts, the best thing to do for yourself is if you find you've been hit by a narcissist, is to just get away from them. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. And I agree with that. But you know what, though? Sometimes you do have to fight the narcissist. I'm sorry you do. And I don't, And this, this whole thing of, if you roll in the mud with the pig, the pig likes the mud, the narcissist likes the drama. If you look into the abyss long enough, you become the monster. I know, I've, I've looked into the abyss and I've become the monster. When I was a lot younger, I became the monster at one point. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Fine. And like I've said, there have been instances where I've just saved myself, black man, and just ran from the narcissist. One narcissist has had me, I've had multiple narcissists, believe it or not, and they keep on coming. The worst narcissist I've ever had to deal with, I'm still on um, silent, I'm still on a silent treatment with that one. It's been at least 30 years. It's, no, it's been about 30 years. I'm still on silent treatment with her because I actually saw her and she still is like silent treating me. Don't look look me in the face and then silent treat me. Like, like I don't know, it's you. Like you don't know me. You know, you know me. Come on. But this, this is my thing. If there, no, let me say this. There are only, the only way I will not combat a narcissist is if one of two things. Number one, I just don't know how. I just don't know how. I, I don't know everything. Sometimes I, I just don't know how to handle this. So I ain't going to do nothing. Right. Or two, if exposing or defeating that narcissist will bring more harm to the people who needs that narcissist mask and facade. If it's going to harm, if it's going to do more harm than good, not to the narcissist, but to the people that depend on his or her mask, then I won't unmask them. But other than that, it's on. Or I should say the third reason. No, no, I said two. I don't know how or it's more harm than good to unmask this person. So I won't unmask them. And that doesn't mean I allow them to treat me any way that they want to. I don't do that. And I don't allow them to keep harming me. But like the one instance, the one instance where I can definitely say I know I defeated the narcissist. I had to. You want to know why I had to? Because God would not let me out of it. Like I've said in a couple of recent videos, some situations, man, it's like God just won't let me out. I'll be looking for the exit, man. I'll be trying to... I've said that in some, in some instances, I've become like a snake or a serpent. I'm, I'm like the, I'm the bronze serpent. And I try to slither on out. And God just... Covers that hole and just, and that show shocks me back into the situation. I'm being vague on purpose. It was like, it was this one place. 
It's like, I just couldn't leave. I prayed. God said, like, they got rid of me, right? They got rid of me from the organization. And God told me, you're going back. I'm thinking, I'm being delusional. I just want to be here so bad that I think God told me I'm going back there. Right? I ended up back there. It was like, dangled a good opportunity for me to go back. You'd be a fool not to go back. It's like, why aren't you going back? Other people that didn't even know about it, it's like, why aren't you going back? That's a great opportunity. So I had to go back. I tried to get out of it. It's like, God made me go back. I even said, I'm not going to apply for that job. God opened up another job at the same place, same qualifications. It was like, I even got a phone call. So I had to go back. And it was not my intention to do battle with the narcissist, but God wouldn't let me out of that either. And how I beat the narcissist was basically was, was gray rock. Now, was it my idea? No. My idea would have been to talk to the narcissist and just say, hey, all right, you know I'm here and you can't stand me, but I'm here. But we cool, we cool, we good, we good. All right, all right, peace. I just, you stay on that side of the hallway. I stay on this side of the hallway. We, we cool. But because of how God works, an authority figure ordered me to do Gray Rock. And I had to do it. And he said, I'm going to put it in language you can understand. This is a direct order. I was like, he used to be in the military? He said, yeah, I used to be in the military. And I used to be in the military. So you know what I'm saying. And you better do it or you're being in support. And it was like he was borderline trolling me. That's right. You better do what I say or you're going to be insubordinate. And you don't want to be insubordinate, do you? I was like, oh. So I had to basically gray rock silent treatment. And it worked. And it worked way better than I could have ever possibly thought it could have happened. And that narcissist hung itself. And I did literally nothing. Just like I said, the martial arts technique I'm going to link it to is June beat and attention. Because that's pretty much what I did. I said nothing. No matter what the narcissist did, I said nothing. Now, do, will that work with every single narcissist? Quite frankly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know there's another narcissist that I have to deal with from time to time. And I'm not going to even, I'm being vague on purpose. The narcissist did something that I should have flown off the handle for. And I could have flown off the handle and been justified. Hey, yeah, right on, man. Everybody would be like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you, you, you tell that narcissist. And I'd be like, yeah, that's right, because I'm standing up for myself. But I did nothing. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do nothing. Because no matter what you try to do to me physically, you cannot get inside here. And it's not like I was hurt. I just had no reaction. And you going to hit me? I was like, no anger, no pain. I was just like this. Now I just backed out. Never had a problem again. So... This is the main point I want to get home, though. You people who are saying that nobody should ever try to do anything against a narcissist, you are derelict of duty. You really are. I want to call you cowards and I want to call you wimps, but you're not because your advice is true. It's the best thing for yourself. The best thing for yourself, man, if you realize what time it is, is just a head for the heels and just run. But you got to remember, these people are not just hurting you. They are hurting a bunch of people. And I know they're wounded, and I know they're hurt, and I know they're victims too, and I know they have their inner child and all that stuff. But we can't let them hurt everybody just because they're hurt. That's not cool. So do you have to try to counter battle every narcissist? No. But if you can, you should. Am I going to go out and try to counter battle every narcissist? No. But if I can, I will. And that's that. Because it's not just about you. It's not just about 
me. It's about we. It's about all of us. I'm even to the point now saying, in fact, I think the most recent narcissist I've had to deal with, I honestly don't think that the narcissist knows what it's doing. I think the narcissist is truly responding out of pain. Because I think that something happened to make this particular narcissist just painful. Just being in pain, a, a really bad tragedy. So this narcissist is in pain and is seeking out narcissistic supply to fill that void, to fill that pain void. But I mean, you know, at the same time, though, it's like, but, but dog, I can't, you know, I can't let you, you can't, you can't come at me. I can't let you come at me like that. And if there's something I can do to save others, I will. But at the same time, though, you know, because of things like flying monkeys and all that stuff, you should look up narcissism because of how people want to be in denial. And me in particular, since like people are just incapable of seeing a big black guy as a victim, especially if you know he's a martial art. That means you're never supposed to be a victim, which is not true. I'm just a person. I'm not all powerful. I can be taken advantage of. You know, because you got that, it's like some of y'all just, I'm just not going to save you because I can't save you because you don't want me to save you because you're too arrogant. So it's like we can't even unite against and, and, and against this one particular narcissist I'm talking about or against other narcissists that, you know, I have encountered and that I probably won't encounter in the future. Because, you know, you don't think you need help, you're proud, you think you know everything. So what am I going to do for you? I can't do anything for me. I mean, for you. And well, that was probably before they slipped. Sometimes I can't even do anything for me. Sometimes I'm just at the mercy of the narcissist. I'm at the narcissist's mercy, depending on how the environment is stacked against me. But the one thing I do have, besides the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, I have the martial arts techniques that he has allowed me to learn. So like I said, look up Gray Rock. I can link Gray Rock to June B. And sometimes, you know, training, stretching. I found out that you can take negative energy that people are giving you. If they're giving you a lot of negative energy, instead of absorbing it and letting it fester into you, you can take your negative energy and use it to work out. And I saw, now I saw somebody else do this with, I would say, one narcissist and another person that's not a narcissist was just being negative that day. And I asked, he's like, you using them to work out, aren't you? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm using them to work out. I was like, oh man, you using them to work out. He's using their negative behaviors to, to strengthen his emotional control. But you could take that instead of getting mad and going, <clears throat> You can take that energy and go do some push-ups or hit the gym or go running, get in better shape, you know? But like I said to somebody offline, with some of the stuff I had to deal with from a narcissist and me, like, you know, doing these intermittent fasting and stuff, it's like, I couldn't have asked. I could not have asked or paid for a better spiritual workout straight up. I wouldn't recommend it, but I couldn't have asked for a better spiritual workout. So that's the thing, you know. I understand you feel bad for the narcissist, and you, you should. And I'm, I'm honestly starting to get to the point where I, I know it sounds soft, but I don't care. I do feel bad for a lot of these people. People that I know are narcissists, I really do feel bad for them. I know they're never going to be happy. They really aren't. They're never going to be happy. They're not going to find happiness until they let go of trying to control everything and just allow someone to actually love them. And if they would actually love other people, instead of trying to strike at them first and take from them, if they would actually, you know, accept kindness. But they're allergic to that because probably they were kind to some... They, prob they probably were kind to a narcissist or a psychopath and got hurt. So they would decide, I'm never going to love or hurt like that again. I'm going to be the one in control. And that's fine that you want to feel that way, but 
you can't be going around wreaking havoc on people. Because there's two things that can happen. You can run to somebody that's crazier than you and more violent than you, and then there you go in the hospital or worse. Or, like I've been reading, what typically tends to happen to a lot of narcissists, and I've seen this happen. A lot of times, man, when you treat people bad when you're younger, when you're older, don't nobody want to be around you. Straight up. I look at my grandmothers. Right? My grandmothers, both of them. I used to say my grandmother, but actually both of them. My grandmothers, when they passed away, and my granddad too. Really both of my granddads. They did, I found out they did a lot of stuff for people when they were young. They didn't even have a lot of money, but they didn't have to have money, especially the most recent grandparent that passed. She ain't even had that much money. She ain't even need to have money because she did so much stuff for people. It's people falling all over the place to do something for her when she died. She ain't even need to go to hospice. My sister was there. Other people, oh my gosh, Miss B. Oh, let me help you. Let me help you. There's people going all out their way to help her. It was people out there going out their way to help my father's mother. When he when she was getting sick old past at her funeral, I was like, I found out she used to cast demons out. I'm like, my grandmother cast demons. I remember when Sister Washington saved me. It's like, what? I remember the woman telling me to be quiet, fold my hands, and don't give any lip. That's what I remember. But of course I was a grandchild. You know, you reap what you sow. And if you sow all this cruelty and negativity like that, you know, it's going to come back to you. It's going to come back to haunt you. It's like, I don't even have to do anything. If I want to get, quote unquote, revenge, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to go to my way to get revenge. Because... That's the thing about stuff like this. These really negative people. They reap what they sow so their karma is so bad that they're just going to dig themselves in the pit that they can't get out of. But at the same time, though, those of us who have a chance, if we actually have the opportunity and the strength and the position to stop a narcissist, we owe it to the rest of the world to do so. You're not being noble by not stopping a narcissist. I'm sorry, this, this video may have cut off right when I was making my point because it ran out of this space. Like I was trying to say, you are not doing, you're not noble by neglecting to stop a narcissist if you can stop one. You're just being selfish. And again, I believe me, man, I understand it. I understand the selfishness, man, for I am selfish at times, and I have tried to get out of it myself. But sometimes you're not going to be able to get out of it. So if there's something you can do, and this is not about necessarily trying to destroy anyone or anything like that, but if, there, if there's something you can do to stop the narcissist from hurting other people, which is why I say there's one I know I truly defeated in my lifetime. Because I actually was able to stop that narcissist from no longer being able to hurt others. And from what I heard, that narcissist had to just hang its head in shame and go off quietly into the night. And people were happier because that narcissist was no longer there. And I did that. I don't even like to take credit for it because I just did what I was commanded. So I can take credit for that. Somebody told me what to do, so he gets credit for that. And then I follow what he said, and I can take credit for that. So if you can stop a narcissist, you owe it to other people to do so. And it's not about being petty or hurting anyone. I literally did nothing. I literally did nothing and stopped that one. But at the same time, though, it takes, you know, it really takes a lot of self-control and indomitable spirit. Those tennis of Taekwondo, I just kept practicing courtesy, self-control, and indomitable spirit. And it was the tennis that did it. I didn't roundhouse kick the narcissist. 
I didn't attack, punch the narcissist. I didn't go to the body. <laughs> I didn't hook the narcissist. I didn't throw the narcissist for a pawn to tap the narcissist out. I didn't choke the narcissist out. I didn't do a no-touch knockout on the narcissist. I did nothing. And I didn't even know I should do nothing until someone told me to do nothing. But I had to do nothing in order to do something. And that enabled that particular narcissist to go away. So let's stop trying to be so noble sometimes. Sometimes, man, you got to do something. Because if not, the world is just going to become hell on earth. And who needs that? Who wants that? We live in a great age. So let's keep living it up. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people that like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. And peace.